Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Yasmin and I make DIY and home content videos. For this project, I'm going to share with you how I created an eclectic and personal gallery wall in our living space. With that said, let me turn the camera around so I can show you guys what we're working with so we can go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, so this is the wall that we will be working with for this gallery wall makeover. And so this is kind of the only area um, downstairs in our house that we can actually put up some frames. Um, as you can see, this is kind of the dining room area that I made over last year, still kind of loving this area. But our downstairs is basically all windows, this glass door. Um, I mean, this is the kitchen. So big window here, big window here, and then panning over. This is our living room, uh, which this will kind of hopefully get a makeover in the future. It will be a bigger project, but I don't want to um, do a gallery wall over here because I have like other thoughts and then that's just the front door. So um, coming back, this is kind of the only area and I think it kind of fits perfectly as like a transition between the living room and dining room to have kind of like a gallery wall, memorial wall. And um, I bought this piece recently from Ross, as you can tell, it was only $100. I love the mid-century modern legs, you guys know that's kind of my style. Um, and it just kind of grounds this wall because otherwise um, the frames that I'm envisioning for the space will just be kind of floating. Um, so this is kind of going to anchor the space, but in terms of what I'm going to do first is remove these mirrors that have been here ever since we moved in like two years ago. They're also on the other side of this window. Um, I've never liked them. They just are kind of random. So I'm hoping they can come off easily and not do too much damage to the walls. But that is kind of the first course of action. And then uh, we will go from there. have the mirrors prepped and this is a trick that we learned when we made over our powder room down here that we wanted to remove uh, the mirror that was glued to the wall and so essentially um, the tip is to tape over the mirrors you could even do more so when you're um, trying to you know pop them off the wall if it does break it doesn't shatter into like a million pieces and the tape kind of like helps um, hold it together. So what I'm gonna do now is um, we have all of these shims left again from that same makeover. So I'm gonna use these with a crowbar um, and essentially try to get rid of the mirrors. Um, hopefully um, it's not too bad, but we shall see how this goes. Well, that was easy. As it turns out, they were just hung up with these uh, command hooks. So it was very easy to um, pop them off the wall. And so I technically didn't need to do the taping, but this was just, you know, um, side of caution. And I didn't know if these were glued or command hooks or whatever. So for the other side of the window, I'm not gonna waste any tape. I'm just gonna take them off. that needed to be patched are now patched up. Um, it has dried and I sanded them lightly just to get them nice and smooth. And we are now ready to paint over this ugly green, um, both sides. And I'm obviously gonna be painting the wall um, the same color as like the actual wall, which is like this beige color. We have some leftover. Thank you. 
All right, you guys, as you can see, I went ahead and painted the green spots on the wall on both sides, and it is basically now dry. It's looking wonderful. I am just like so happy that those random mirrors are gone. And so now we are off to the fun part, which is figuring out the layout of our gallery wall, getting the pictures and all of that together. And yeah, so that's what we are going to tackle next. I'm going to share with you my plans for figuring out the layout of this gallery wall. I want it to be very eclectic, a lot of personal pictures, more of a um, memorial type gallery wall. So. Um, I've been collecting a couple of pieces over the last few months that I want to use. So the first one is this set of frames. It's seven frames, different sizes, and kind of different patterns on the actual frames. This was a gift from my mom, I think, for Christmas. So I definitely want to use some of these frames. I do want to use this kind of memory box for Misha, and I have a couple of other pieces that I definitely want to use. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, trace out all of the things that I want to um, basically mount on the wall eventually on this brown craft paper um, so then we can transfer kind of the shapes onto the wall figure out the layout if I need to move things around and just kind of make sure I like it before we go in and you know nailing everything and putting everything on the wall I have everything cut out for all of the frames that I have at the moment. The package actually came with this kind of like instructions on like, you know, multiple different layouts that you can create a gallery wall. Um, and it comes with like some instructions on the back and it came with basically what I was trying to create out of the brown paper. So that is super cool. That is super awesome. It even tells you like where the nail should go. So they've definitely made it easy with this um, package. the layout of the gallery wall pretty much on the wall so this is all the current frames that I have which I thought would be too many but I think I'm gonna need a few more definitely for kind of the top portion um, and I can obviously move them around I want kind of like a small round one maybe in the middle there and then some decor like a lamp or something for this table so I'm gonna have to go shopping or some thrift finds and things like that but it's looking pretty good and I'm super excited. Good morning, you guys. So yesterday I went to Home Goods and Goodwill to pick up a few more frames and decor pieces for this gallery wall makeover. And I just made my morning coffee and it's 7.45, so I have a super early start today. Um, but I figured I will share with you uh, what I picked up yesterday, kind of like a mini haul, and then hopefully I can finalize the layout of this gallery wall today so I can move on to the next step. But with that said, the first thing that I picked up is actually this lamp in the background here. Um, once I brought it home, I realized it's a little too small for the space, so I will most likely not use it in this makeover. And I kind of also want something a little bit more vintage and a little bit more unique, so I will be looking for that in the meantime though i have it here just so i can visualize the whole like layout of the gallery wall the next thing i picked up is this wall hanging planter um and it's got this round base this was 11 dollars on sale from home goods and i mainly got this because i felt like i needed something round to balance out this round mirror down here somewhere up top in the gallery wall so hopefully this will work but we have this as an option. 
The next thing is this small round clock, super minimal and cute. Um, kind of for some of those smaller spaces if I need to fill that space. So we have this one, this was $4.99. Um, next, I have two small, again, kind of like filler frames. Um, this was $5.99 and this one was $6.99. This one is actually really cute. It has this like little string that you can hang it from. And um, yeah, so these are super cute. I have this set of two. This is the only thing I got from Goodwill yesterday. I didn't really have anything else that I um, picked up, but it's kind of these two. Uh, I liked it because of the little arch at the top and the two of them were $7.99. So I have these kind of two bigger frames. This one might be my favorite one. This one was $12.99 from Home Goods, and it's kind of this like burlap shape um, and with like the black frame. So I'm definitely gonna use this. It is super cool and I love it. Um, next one is this one. It was also $12.99, but I got it on sale for $11. It's this like wood frame. Um, and this is kind of a bigger size. And I'm not sure if I will use all of the frames that I have or I got yesterday. If I don't, I will either use them in a future makeover or just return them. So just keep that in mind. And then next one is this kind of, it's a wood frame, but it's like black and distress. And I thought that was like super cool. And this was on sale for $8, um, also from Home Goods. And then the last piece is this square. Um, frame that's mainly also why I picked it up because most of the frames that I have are rectangles so I thought this would be cool to kind of break that up and this was $7.99 with the black and gold and as you guys can tell that's kind of the theme black gold and wood which is basically what I use in the dining room that I made over last year or so just carrying the color palette through into the gallery wall um, but with all of that I think I'm going to start playing around with the layout a little bit more, hopefully get that all set. And yeah, I guess let's get started. All right guys, I think I have the layout nailed down. I'm pretty happy with this. I've been playing around with it for about an hour. That top section was kind of giving me a hard time to figure it out, but I think I like this. And then um, this little skinny thing on the side here is just for me to visualize, but I'm kind of envisioning like a skinny, taper candle scone type of thing like a brass one on that side which um, I will be looking for that hopefully um, in the near future I don't have it yet but it's a placeholder so I think I'm happy with this and now essentially I need to figure out what pictures are gonna go in these frames actually decided to go ahead and hang the empty frames and some of the art pieces um, just because I am impatient <laughs> and I wanted to see um, stuff on the wall it already with like three looks so good and then I feel like that will help me visualize what pictures I want to pick for the actual frames I know some of you might think that's backwards but that just works better for me guys the frames and the decor and everything is on this wall now and it's looking so so good obviously most of the frames are empty still so once I have the pictures it's gonna look so much better um, but I did most of it off camera just to save you guys from the repetitive process and so the only one I didn't um, put up is this little one the gold one that I showed earlier and um, you know that kind of piece and the lamp that I'm still kind of looking for so these will kind of be like the finishing touches and this was a quick DIY this placemat and the mirror are from Ikea I just glued the mirror on top of it and it just kind of brings in like a natural element and I like that the mirror is kind of like a little bit darker and it just goes with the color palette but I am literally obsessed um, it is, I think, 2.45, so I'm going to take a quick lunch break and then, um, yeah, start actually looking for pictures for all of these empty frames. 
Hello you guys, I am back and determined to finish this gallery wall today but last weekend we went to the Rose Bowl flea market and I picked up a few vintage perfect pieces for the space so I am going to turn the camera around and share with you guys what I picked up and what we're doing today and we will get started. As you can tell there's a couple more pieces here since the last time I filmed. Um, the first thing I do want to point out is that I did Misha's little memory box um, the other day off camera and I just wanted to you know have that time to myself so we have her little gorgeous pictures, her fur, um, whiskers and her paw prints so yeah, I just did that um, by myself so I could just really truly take it in and enjoy it. But um, I picked up this gorgeous vintage lamp from the Rosewell Flea Market. It is literally what I was looking for and it fits perfectly in the space. And then we have this little vintage frame that is also perfect and I'm going to use this instead of the one that I had bought from Home Goods. And then the other piece is this wall kind of candle holder sconce thingy that is also beautiful and it fits just like perfectly in this little corner. And then I also did pick up this other candle holder. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this in this makeover, um, but I just absolutely love it with just all the details and this little kind of handle here. So I figured I'll just share that with you guys. But what I'm going to do right now is basically fill the frames. I have uh, my prints printed here. So um, that's, I think, the last step. Just kind of putting the pictures in and doing a little bit of styling. And we will have our gallery wall. I'm obsessed with how this gallery wall has turned out and it makes me so happy to look at it every day. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below for upcoming DIY makeovers. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.